Middle, 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 just had enough. Okay. Just right there. So you're in the middle. How does it feel to be in the middle, Cameron? Yeah, check it out. I'm always in the middle. Did you not hear those all? <laughs> <laughs> um, I love being in the middle. Are you kidding? I love being sm sandwiched between genius and genius, wow. you know? It's between a, genius? Yes, wow. Yeah. Nice. wow. Yeah. Have you been called a genius before? Yeah, many times. <laughs> yeah. Ah, you're used to it, right? I just, yeah. I just said that to you a minute ago. You did. Yeah. Like, hey, genius. Yeah. I'm Jason. Yeah. And it just... It always comes out that way. I'm realizing now it wasn't a compliment, was it? It was like when kids call it, they're like, hey, genius. It's like, hey, four eyes. You were, you were basically saying, like, hey, four eyes. There was no sarcasm, there was no sarcasm. whatsoever. See, even that's sarcastic. The, the, Jason, there was no sarcasm whatsoever. Take a joke. That's pretty serious, I believe him. Yeah, don't. <laughs> <laughs> so when you were in school, what were the worst names people said? I mean, you were like 12 years old and you were like oh, a giant, these are really six good. foot five. I wanna hear these names. Well, it's it's just one terrible memory that replays every time I have a moment of insecurity. I mean, when I was like uh, 12, I went through puberty, you know, where your hormones change inside of your body. And uh, I became 6'4", wow. and every other kid was regular, like normal human height. And they would stand around me in a circle and they would jump on my back one by one and they would chant, Ride the oaf. Ride the oaf. Oh. That's pretty bad. That doesn't hurt. No? No. No? Well, what's yours? Well, let's hear it, Cameron. What was yours? <laughs> <laughs> Can you top Ooh. that? I was Skeletor. Ouch. Oh. Skinny Bone Jones. Oh. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. <laughs> I, I would kill to be called Skinny, skinny Bone Jones. Jones. <laughs> yeah. She's Skinny Bone Jones. What was the worst thing one of these guys called you on set? Really? Oh. Yeah, I'm sure there were some bad ones. I want to hear it. Jason was always really nice to me. Uh oh, but this one on the other hand. Justin was always. Justin. Justin was always there. <laughs> Look at it, there's Jason Siegel. Whoa, there he wanting is. something else. Wow, you like that? God, just... Jason's a regular, we keep having him come through. Everyone from these two brilliant comedians, um, Lucy, Phyllis, John, I mean, everybody just came in guns hot with the comedy and the writing was so good and every, each character I kind of like to describe as their own island. And, and you put them in this school and they're kind of all existing in the same space and it works. And it's, it's, it's because of everyone's genius, there's that word again, and everybody's actually like fun to be around. We had a lot of fun making the movie. Elizabeth, you wanna like grab a bite sometime? You still a gym teacher? I am, yeah. Then no. Okay, cool, well, awesome. This went great, all right. Now, now let's talk, you had a viral video that got a ton of views on YouTube. And then Rebecca Black comes out with Friday, blew that away, it's like 150 million views. What about Simpatico? Can we maybe get some viral video? That could be the worst song ever. I wasn't aware that there was a competition. Um, <laughs> you uh, might win for the uh, worst song. Always a competition, yeah. Justin, it's always a competition. I see that, I see that. But is it hard to try and make the worst song ever, or is it easy? It might actually be harder. Uh, I've been doing it for years. <laughs> <laughs> so. No, actually, that's the truth. That actually takes more talent to be able to make, write a bad song when you are such a good songwriter to like come to be to tap into a place that you know uh, that isn't of genius. Word again, that um, but used in a different realm of talent. You know, you know, you know, Thanks, CD. No I like Thanks, it. Man. All right, so we got a, 
a quick pop quiz for you guys. Because I was just answering a question. That's cool. All right. Never Sorry. mind. I'm teasing you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Learn some manners. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, don't. Hey, listen. Don't <laughs> don't interrupt Camel. She will come at you camera. like a wildebeest. Trust me. Did you want to finish what you were no, saying? No, no. She's I'm good now. Now. She's good now. Yeah. I got hey, Thank I, I got you. this. Can you take care of I this? I see like the temporary thing. Justin, can you take care of this, I got, please? I got this. Thank you. Do not interrupt camera like that, dude. You don't come at you like a wheel, dude. Like a rhinoceros with a boner. Yeah, don't. Hippopotamus. 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 You want Ooh, hippo, look at that hippo, thing. Hippo, yeah, hippo is hippo like a hippopotamus with a boner. Okay. Still with a boner, though, right? Yeah, boner. All right, quick pop quiz. You ready? <laughs> the answer, multiple choice. Who's ever got it, raise your arm and I'll pick on you. Ready? First one, name that teacher. Who played the teacher in Mr. Holland's opus? Was it Richard Pryor? Richard Dreyfus. Justin won, but I have to pick on you before you get it, but you got one. All right, we're good. Name that teacher number two. Which actress has not portrayed a teacher in a film? Was it Michelle Pfeiffer, Hilary Swank, or Rachel McAdams? Rachel McAdams. Cameron. Rachel McAdams. Cameron, good, one to one. All right, when Ferris Bueller was busy skipping class, what monotone teacher was taking role? Was it Ed Rooney? Ben Stein or Eugene Levy? Jason? It's Ben Stein, sir. Ben Stein. My hand was up first. This next one's gonna be the winner. Just got discriminated against. How about you make it not multiple choice? How about you raise the stakes? No multiple like choice, that. just ask the question. Asking the question, let's see who gets this. What was the name of the character who played the hot teacher in Billy Madison? Oh. <laughs> no, let's yeah, we can get this. this. I feel like we should. I feel like, between, between the two I feel like we got to like put our put our noodles together. And... Cuz I ain't going to have uh, I'll put our noodles, noodles together. I don't know if that's going to help <laughs> us get the answer. <laughs> Justin. Veronica Vaughn. Yes. Wow. <laughs> you didn't need the multiple choice. Amazing. Veronica, I thank you for beating the shit out of me. That's right. That's right. That's Veronica Vaughn. You got the bad so apple. hot. Want to touch the hiney? He has a photographic memory. But he gets no apple? He gets no. a very good prize. You ready? Oh. Yeah, I'm ready. A $37 gift certificate. What? How oh, oh. is that? Don't spend it all at once, though. That's a lot of You know of what I'm going to do with it? Take us there. Take it? us there. Triple date. Oh. <laughs> Put it in. I'm Put it in. And in. Young Hollywood Studio, how was the experience, Justin? Was it painless? It, not only was it painless, it was pancake horrific. Bad teacher, make sure you all check it. Cameron in the middle. Where's she at? Yeah. In the middle.